Hello, uh, welcome to a video. It is oh, it's Wednesday today, and uh, my day off. It's been nice all week, really, really nice. But today, of course, it's windy and rather gloomy out. So, um, got a few bits to do in the garden, but um, for now, um, quite a few people have requested a dip in tobacco video. Um, I haven't done a dip in tobacco video for a little while actually. Um, the main reason is because I can't get it. <laughs> I am, um, you know, in the UK we are pretty much um, stuck with twists and ropes and they're called um, Oliver Twist chewing tobacco. Uh, they're the only ones we can get and they're horrible. <laughs> So we have to import everything from the US and uh, snooze from uh, Sweden and uh, Norway and, you know, all those uh, countries. Uh, but I've got a lot of nice messages to ask for a dip in tobacco. <clears throat> now, the reason I haven't been doing many dip reviews is because I've just been buying this, really. This is another... Um, Sealed tub of Stoker's Mint. Um, I've come to the conclusion that this is the only way really I'm going to go forward. Um, up to last year I was buying five rolls at a time, maybe 20, well you've seen the videos, 20 uh, packs of Red Man and Levi Garrett at a time, but the, um, yeah, the issues that that caused um, I'm not going to go into um, on video, but you can guess some of the problems I had. Now, you've got to keep your order under £15 now. And this, I think, is about 11 This used to be 5 20 when I first started buying from the Northerner. Probably 2 20 10 Maybe slightly earlier. So it's doubled in price, but still buying one of these is certainly better than buying four um, tins of skull or, or whatever you like, or Copenhagen or whatever you whatever you dip, because this is the equivalent of about ten. Um, and I I do like Stoker's dip and chew. So really, this is what I've been doing. So I can't make every single dipping video about another tin of Stoker's wintergreen or mint. But what I have got here. And this could be um, uh, good for a laugh. And I've had one already. <laughs> oh, dear me. Um, right, this is called Redwood Fine Cut Moist Snuff. You've all seen this, um, probably. It's a, it's a Swisher classic. Um, Swisher, quite well known for... Um, for their tobaccos. Well, Swisher Sweets, fine. But when it comes to Dip, Cooper, and a few of the other ones, it's actually, Cooper's one of their better ones. But, um, I can't remember the other one. What was that? No, it escapes me. Anyway, Redwood. I've had a look at the uh, quality of the tobacco. Honestly, it's sand cut. It's... Well, it's supposed to be a bit more than sand, but this is finer than sand. And I just don't know if you could see that. That's the cut. So it's really quite fine, extremely fine. So if you are not used to dipping, I suggest um, kind of trying off a, a long cut first and then go for the fine cuts. It takes a bit of packing as well. Um, and it does dry out very, very quickly. So, can's packed. Um, you can see that. I mean, I do like skull fine cut, but this is just another level of fine cut, isn't it? Really, really fine. To get a pinch, you have to be very gentle with it. It 
it um it, it's like um dipping sand as well it just takes all I haven't done that but I can imagine it just takes all the moisture out your mouth it's a little bit better flavor dry tobacco um, they used to make redwood wintergreen which actually was slightly better than this not a lot better if I'm honest um, just it says sweepings doesn't it all over it it's um uh, it's it's not as bad as longhorn um, but it's certainly nowhere near your skull fine cut um, yeah not not the best rather dry it says moist snuff but this is anything but moist um, and the can's well in date but there you go redwood I'll, I'll give it a a 5 out of 10 at the very most purely for the price I'm sure you can pick this up for an, under a dollar in the US Prices have gone through the through the roof through the roof. Mm. Ah, prices have gone through the roof for chewing tobacco and dipping tobacco. It's gonna is nearly well it is nearly five pounds for that's um, Great British pounds for a um, bag of Levi Garrett now, which um, is one of the most expensive dips I have chews ever. Um, it's just a lot of money. I was saying this to a Canadian friend who um, kind of gave me a little wake-up call and he said it's the equivalent of £25, UK pound, um, in Canada and some other countries like Australia where their taxes are just so high on tobacco that um, they resort to other methods um, someone was telling me about their, their um, kind of domestic uh, cigarettes and things like that. They they now buy something called Chop Chop over the counter in um, in Australia, which is cheap shredded tobacco because they're kind of uh, equivalent of cigarette brands, if you like, are so expensive. Well, I'm not enjoying it that much. Um, yeah, a 5 out of 10 for Redwood by Swisher. Watches, watch-wise, um, someone was asking me about Vostok watches and how easy is it to customise. Well, if you saw my other video, I don't know if you can see that, new bezel. Um, the light is really playing up, isn't it? Anyway, new bezel and um, NATO strap. I think really sets this watch off beautifully. Blue strap to match the blue design. That's a bit better. Um, yeah, and all in all, I mean, this is a shockproof. Um, you can run over this in a car and it still be ticking. This is just a solid, solid watch. So. All in all, the um, whole thing was twenty pounds, um, which is unbelievable, really. Of course, it was on eBay, and I did snipe it—a bit of a bargain. But um, that's what's going on watch-wise. So yeah, I think that's about it, guys. I'm sorry I've cut my head off for all, all of this video, but um, anyway, enjoying this again, and. Um, I don't recommend that at all. Don't bother unless you, you know, if you've got a dollar in your pocket and you want to dip, then that might be your only choice. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one, which, um, who knows what it will be in the world of tobacco. Cheers.